For it TV, the world is thinking. Uh, you said earlier, and I appreciated that, that uh, it, it would be naive of us to imagine that we would uh, be exporting democracy in our style, whether it's California or Switzerland. Um, would you say one of the weaknesses of this administration has been its ideological um, narrowness in terms of... No, I, I wouldn't say anything about this administration because I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> well, um, because it, look... And, you, you, you can say but, I tried. Alan, I did try. But Alan, you need to understand, look, I, I, I'm a soldier. I've been a soldier you know, ever since 1969 when I left Colville, California. And I've always worn a uniform and I'm not about to take it off because I'm retired. Now, some guys are on the Clinton team, on the Obama team, and, you know, everybody has a stable of general officers that are in support of them. Um, my view is, you know, it's my duty to give military advice and to do it in an un uncritical way. Could I reframe way. it? Re rephrase it? Sure. <laughs> in the light of the fact that you said it would be naive for us to export democracy, do you think it is dangerous for any administration to be ideologically driven? I think that ideology, whether it's American religious ideology, Sunni religious ideology, Shia religious ideology, uh, Jewish religious ideology from Israel, uh, whatever ideology takes hold and becomes mainstream gets us a step closer to a clash of civilizations. And, and I, I, I worry about that as much as I do about nuclear weapons getting in the hands of the wrong right. people. Mm. And, you know, this is not that I'm against religion. I'm not. I'm a practicing Catholic. I, mm. My wife and I raised our, our family in the Catholic Church. And so, uh, and, and I have deep respect for Islam. But, you know, this is not about ideologies that are disrespectful of other cultures. It, it needs to be about peoples that respect each other's cultures. Now, at the height of the, the battle with the Soviet Union, uh, which was so interesting and which I grew up in as a young officer, we literally had hundreds and thousands of experts that we could turn to and say, look, we need your help. We need to know what's going on. You speak Russian, you speak Polish, you know what the size of the guy's underwear is in the mm -hmm. Politburo, et cetera, et cetera. And people knew these things and there were experts. But when, when I came in command in CENTCOM and I asked for officers who knew the culture, who knew the language, who knew the nuances of uh, what was happening. Literally, the number was less than 200 people that we, we came up with. Mm. So if, if we're going to be involved in dealing with this, this great cultural part of the world known as the Islamic world, what are we going to do as a people to increase our understanding so that we can have a bridge of respect, respect as opposed to this chasm mm. of hostility? Yeah.